Okay, everything's okay. All right. Chubby, can I sit here? Okay. Today we're going to tell a story about spinning wool. Once there was a little girl named Rebecca and her mother. They lived in a small cabin near the woods and they were very poor. They were so poor that one evening Rebecca went into the cupboards to find some food to eat and all she found was a little piece of string. She came to her mother and she said, Mother, all I've found in the cupboard is a piece of string. We have no food. Her mother looked very sad and she said, Well, she said, I guess we will not eat very well tonight. I'll have to go into the village tomorrow and see if I can sell something or do something to get some food for us. But meanwhile, she said to her daughter, she said, could you go into the forest and find us some herbs or berries so that we can eat something this evening? So Rebecca took her basket and went into the forest and she started looking for berries. And she looked under the bushes and she looked around the bushes and she looked everywhere, but there were no berries in sight. The cold weather was coming and the birds had eaten all of the berries. So that evening Rebecca and her mother ate the blueberries and the herbs and their tummies were happy and Rebecca did not find the stick very useful. So she hung it up, she put the string through the hook and she hung it from the wall and there it remained hanging all evening. And the next morning, Rebecca and her mother woke up early, and her mother went to the marketplace, and Rebecca went to where she'd seen the fairy in the forest, hoping that maybe the fairy had something else to help her with. Rebecca walked through the forest and looked around and looked around some more, and then pretty soon she saw her. It was the same little fairy, and she just sat down on the log. She didn't want to ask for anything, and she didn't want to be impolite. So um, I wanted to show you some tips because the story was illustrative of the process you go through, but in some of the parts of the story on video you might not have caught some of the details. So I'm going to show you the process here without the story. First you take your yarn and you tie it in a circle. 